Firstly, let's take a look at notes on the keyboard. We all know that a piano has a set of black and white keys. A set of black and white keys. Let's take a look at this is an example of a keyboard. White keys, black keys. Set of black and white keys. Letters used for keys are the same letters or same alphabets that we use in music from A counting to G. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the letters that we use in music and letters that we use for our white keys. All white keys are called natural keys. White keys, we call them natural keys. The black keys are situated between the white ones. As you can see, the black keys are situated between these ones. And they are named after the white keys. So we name the black keys after the white keys. For example, this is called the middle C. The note after the middle C or the first bl black note after the middle C will be called a C sharp. Why C? Because it's named after this C. This is D. And this note is called a D sharp when going up. It's named after the D, the white natural D. But we will also look at keys or black keys as accidentals in the following chapters of grade 1, which we will learn more about. The C in the middle of your keyboard is called the middle C. The next note from the middle C will be a D. This is a middle C and is located on the ledger line of the staff. That's below the staff. The ledger lines are lines and spaces below or above the staff. It's on the space. The E is on the first line of the staff. F on the first space of the staff. Then we have a G on the second line of the staff, which is the treble clef, sitting on the treble clef. A on the space. B line. C on the space. Remember that notes above the middle C Notes above the middle C, they fall under the treble clef and notes below the middle C fall on the bass clef. Look at the B sitting on the bass clef. The middle C's are the same. A, the last line of the bass clef. Then we have G on the last space of the bass clef. We have F on the fourth line of the bass clef. Then followed by and E sitting inside the space. We have D on the line, C on the second space of the bass clef. This is where notes are located on the staff. Now, in this grade, we will look at two clefs, the treble clef and the bass clef. As we have mentioned before, that we are dealing with the treble clef and the bass clef. Ledger lines and spaces. What is a ledger line? Ledger lines or spaces are lines that appear above or below the staff. Lines, short lines that appear above or below the staff. They function when pitches are higher or lower or below the lines and spaces on the provided staff. They function when notes are higher or lower than the notes on the given staff. And the distance between the ledger lines has to be the same as the, the, the lines and spaces on the staff. So that means these lines, which are called ledger lines and spaces here, have to be the same as the lines and spaces of the staff. Avoid extra ledger lines below or above the notes. Meaning, you cannot place a line here if there is no node required. So you can't close this with a line. So avoid extra ledger lines below or above the nodes. Let's take a look at examples of ledger lines. The last node of the treble clef, we all know that it's seated on the line, which is F. Then starting followed by G, this is the first space, then the ledger line would be A, space, 
let's align C, space, let's align E, space. Also below, the last note will be E of the treble, or, or the first note of the treble clef is E. Going down, D, the tone the space, let's align and spaces, space, let's align A, space G, F on the ledger line. Same goes the the last note on the line or the last line of the bass clef is A, followed by space B, C line. These are ledger lines. Ne? D ledger line, space F, G ledger line, A sitting inside the space, and this note here. The first line is supposed to be a G. First line of the base clef. Going down, F on the space falls on the ledger lines and spaces. E, ledger lines and spaces. D, seated on the inside the space. C, line. B, space. A, line. G, on the space. All these are ledger lines and spaces. This is how they follow each other. You look at the last note of your clef. This is a treble clef. The last note is F. Then everything that goes uh, above the last note is going to fall on the ledger line and space. And also below the E here falls on the ledger line and space. Same applies for our bass clef. The last note of the bass clef seated on the line is A. Everything that comes uh, above the A falls on the ledger line and spaces. Also below the G, ledger lines and spaces. Let's recap the definition of a ledger line. Remember we said a ledger line is a short line placed above or below a staff to accommodate notes that are higher or lower than the range of the staff. 